Hi, it's Corrine, and I'm here today with another page out of my Smashbook. I'm using a Close to My Heart Smashbook. I will put the link to the lady who I received this book from in the description box below. I knew that I wanted to use a craft page out of this. I was just trying to decide which one, so I ended up choosing that one. Now I'm cutting out some strips of paper. I'm using some Heidi Swap Vintage Chic paper. And those strips are cut to one and a half by 10, which is the height of the, of the book. And I'm using some Georgia Pacific 110 pound cardstock, smooth white cardstock. I also have a tag from the same collection and I'm using an EK Success one half inch punch to cut a circle from cardstock to add to the top of the tag using a little bit of Scotch Quick Dry. And I'm using a black and white photo which tends to be my favorite to use. And that one is three and a half inches square. I left a little bit of a white border on it, so it ends up being a four inch square photo that I'm using. And I'm just adding some ATG to the strips of paper, which I will adhere at a little bit of an angle. I didn't want them to be perfectly straight on the page. I'm using my Big Bite to add a hole in the top of the tag. And that frame that you see there is a scrap piece of paper that I had left over from another project I was working on and I didn't want to throw it away and I thought the colors matched pretty well. So I end up using it on this page as well. Here is some hand dyed seam binding that my sweet friend Patty sent me. I end up using a little bit. It, it worked out perfectly. The colors match perfectly with this page. So I'm going to thread it through the top and add a little bit of a cream colored crochet twine to the top of that as well. Here is a, um, it's from some packaging from Webster's Pages, and the tag is so pretty, the packaging that was in there. So I wanted to use that on a page, but my photo is a little too big. It covers up mostly that tag, so I'll save that for another page. This is a stencil from Saw Crafters. I'll put the link to her website in the description box as well. She has a lot of stencils to choose from and they're really, really at a good price. This one here is the 4x4 Honeycomb stencil and I'm using a little bit of modeling paste and a palette knife to put that down on my page. I put a piece of cardboard behind it, a really thick piece of cardboard, so I had um, more stability when I was putting that on my page. With the modeling paste, you want to clean up right away. So I put whatever leftover back into my container and use a baby wipe to clean off my palette knife. And I pause the video and take my stencil right to the sink to clean it off. Otherwise it will ruin your stencil. And now I let it sit for about five minutes and then I also took my heat gun to it as you can see and it dried rather quickly. I was able to start working with it again right away. The ampersand is also from the same paper collection along with that label there that I printed out. And on that label, there's an Allie Edwards stamp that says gratitude equals happy heart. So I'm just adhering my cluster with some more Scotch Quick Dry. And the ampersand, I wanted it to stand out a little bit more, so I just used some 
vintage photo distressing to the edges of it. Here are some more labels that I cut from the Cameo. It says you and me. And I end up layering the black one behind the other one just to give it a little bit of a shadow. And I will tuck that in behind my photo. Here are some pearls, flat back pearls from Saw Crafter Store. I love working with these and I thought they went on the page so well. They give it a little bit of dimension, but not too much. It doesn't add much bulk to my page whatsoever. So I'm using some glossy accents and adhering those down. And once the glossy accents is dry, it is, it, it's not moving. It's very strong adhesive. So I'm adding the pearls to the top and the bottom of my photo just to give it the appearance that it goes all the way down the page. I also had this little bow in my stash that went, it's not from the same paper collection, but it went very well with the collection. So I'm going to adhere that. And lastly, I'm adding a few Teresa Collins enamel dots to my page. And that completes my page. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Also, please come find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and my blog spot, all at Corrine's Creations. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.